Hello guys, welcome back to San Marino, Four Minos the Kings, Season 5, Champions League, first qualifying round, double header against Astana um, of Kazakhstan. Uh, this is going to be a very, very difficult game. Uh, Astana are predicted to comfortably win. Since you were last with us, we've made one more signing. It is actually a loan signing uh, with a look to a part of the loan agreement was that we buy him at the end of the season for £21,000. A shadow striker, uh, if we compare him to Kevin Rossi, who is obviously the person who he will be replacing, you can see he's just much, much better. I feel as though we have reached this stage of the save where there's a change in the guard at the t at this squad uh, with the new players we've brought in. And you can see all the new guys down here in terms of their potential and current ability, just better than what we've got up here, barring Cooper Mazes. Unfortunately, I've not been able to register them for Europe because of the registration rules. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be the same squad as the last game, um, which was a comfortable win. Uh, it's, it's a very, very familiar lineup. As I said, there is a change in off the guard taking place, though. We do still have to play in the league, though, the two San Marise players. So we have got Luca Brizzi and Tomasoni still obviously looking for their development to continue massively, particularly Luca Brizzi. But without any further ado, let's get into today's game. Uh, obviously going to be very, very difficult away in Kazakhstan for the first leg. We're still massively lacking in match fitness. Uh, we've been picking up a couple of niggly injuries in training as well, which has not been ideal. Um, everyone expects us to lose the do. We've we've had tougher games and we've come out all right in them. Um, I've just realised I haven't gone through the new kit. We've actually got a new sponsor. Uh, so. In keeping with tradition so far in this save, every time we get a new sponsor, I am changing the kit. I will briefly glance over it in between the two games. I think it looks very, very good. The sponsor fits in on the shirts very, very well in terms of its colour. Uh, its colour, just its placement. It, it looks it looks very nice. Uh, but we've got an early attack for Astana now. Only two minutes gone and they are bringing the ball forward already uh, with Aimbatov. Uh, he plays a looping ball inside to Kalas. That was Van der Marel uh, looking to get the ball into the box. They're passing it around nicely here, little triangles. They do get the ball into the box now. Uh, and Dibong there scores in the third minute. Max Dibong. It's a, it's a disappointing start. We do this in Europe. We, we start off so slowly. We're not going to watch it again. It's just disappointing. I know Astana is going to be a tough, tough ask for us to beat. Uh, but can we get something from his throw? And Diara just absolutely launches it with that long, flat throw that he's uh, he's got, and they've, they've, it's just it's, it's a weapon. If people of my age remembering, hey, the guy gets his head on that. It's unlucky. People of my age remember watching Rory de Lapp in the Premier League for Stoke. Uh, it was it was like another corner for them. It was it was unreal, and we we've got that with Diara. Obviously, Diara is going to be replaced in the league, though. Um, with the players we've brought in in terms of that starting lineup at the minute you've really got the back four uh maybe Manusko, Catronella and Mazes the only players going to be keeping their places in the starting lineup obviously we'll will be looking to rotate um we've reached half now now and it's still only one nil which is quite encouraging it's just disappointing to concede that very very early goal in the third minute we are having shots. We've got the better XG, believe it or not. Haven't hit the target yet, though. Um, but it's encouraging. If we, if we can come away from the away leg with a decent scoreline, get them back to San Marino, absolutely pack the San Marino Stadium, uh, which is where we play in Europe because of the, obviously, the attendance rules. Uh, it could be quite, quite, you know, encouraging for us. If we keep it at 1-0, which uh, I don't know how the goalkeeper hasn't saved that. We're not going to keep it at 1-0. We'll 
what's Reynardo doing? That would look like a, 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 such a comfortable save. The defence is, it, it's a great through ball, just cuts through defence. And Reynardo should be keeping that, that, that out. That, that's just absolutely shocking. Uh, and we've done it again. We just don't come out of the dressing room ready to play. Right at the start of the half, we, we, we concede the goal. We did it in the first half. We're going to do it again. He bongs through it again. Reynaldo, where are you going? Where are you going? And it's 3-0. 3-0 to Astana. So much for getting back to our place with a respectable scoreline. Ah, it's just a, it's another ball. It's another another three ball in a bong. Renaudo's he's gone for a wander, uh, and that's that's shot. That's not no, not another one. Can can we get ourselves back into this? We did it last season in Europe. We we went a few goals down a few times, and we we came out looking very very good. Uh, we are building an attack now with Adamoli. Can he get the ball into the box? He can't. It's towards Di Cristofaro and Manusco Catanella is there. He looked offside to me, uh, but it's not offside. Uh, and we we have got a lifeline. We've got a goal back. It's it's great play. It's the ball out from Di Cristofaro searching for Adam Oli, who's always available. Drives that byline. Di Cristofaro, uh, Manusco Catanella for me there was offside he he just looked offside we might get the tight offside replay we don't apparently it wasn't even a tight offside um but we have given our 17 traveling fans something to smile about i believe it's a 2700 mile journey from san marino to to kazakhstan for this game and 17 of the, the 17 of them made the journey we need to change some things because Caradona is on a 6.0 rating. That's appalling. Ravelli is back from international duty, uh, obviously lacking in match fitness. Tenazzi's also, although he's the best player on the pitch, he's tired. So we're going to bring Tenazzi on. Kevin Rossi, maybe he knows that he's uh, he's about to lose his place in the starting lineup. Kevin Rossi. Mm, we have a couple of games where Rossi doesn't really show up and he's, that, that position is sort of pivotal to, to everything that we do going forward down the middle. The wing backs obviously provide our, our biggest attacking threat. Luca Tenazzi again for the second season in a row has actually been voted for as the foreign player of the year in San Marino. I can create something now looking for Cooper Mazis. Cooper Mazis gets the goal on the volley uh, and it's now 3-2. We have got something out of this game. It's it's Tenazzi, it's it's the wing backs again. De Cristofaro's out there for some reason, but Tenazzi's come inside and he's played a great ball over the top and Cooper Mazes on the volley. Uh, and it's three two. We if we if we started these these games, these halves better, then, then we wouldn't put ourselves in these positions. Can we make it three all? And that would be absolutely massive. We will then take them back to our place all square. Possibly away goals. I, I keep forgetting to look at away goals count. But Cooper Mazes is through again. He's got a square ball onto Venucci. Venucci scores. And we have pulled level. We've pulled level. I can't believe it. I'm a tactical genius. Those three changes I made. Have, have, have got us back. In the game, Cooper Mazes, the star man for us, great ball in. Venucci hits it first time on the volley. The keeper should really be saving it. He has got a, a hand to it. Can we, are we going to make it four? Oh, we're so close. So close to us taking the lead. So close. Let's not let them get back in the lead. Uh, it's a hopeful ball over the top. Ravelli cuts it out. There's a debate whether Ravelli is actually better than Caradona in this squad. The assistant manager certainly seems to think so in his uh, in his best eleven. Let's uh, let's clear this ball, lads. Let's not concede a fourth now. We've done all the hard work to get it back into this. Let's let's not concede. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Just just foul him. 
well in Fontana, but he's gone straight back to them. It's a Sombolonga, and Heidegger just puts his foot through the ball and absolutely lashes it out. Come on, ref. We're over the four minutes, ref. Come on. Just, just get rid of it. It's still coming. It is still coming, and it is full time. We have managed to pull off a remarkable 3-3 draw we were the better team we were the better team for the entire game looking at the xg our attacking down down the left hand side is is absolutely fantastic those 17 traveling fans have been treated to a show if we could just stop this a third minute and 46th minute conceding goals we, we'd have been clear in that we'd have been well clear but 3-3 3-3, what a fantastic result. Remember, it's, uh, it's Basel uh, from Switzerland waiting in the next round. A game which we, uh, we, we definitely will not beat Basel. Ever the optimist here in uh, San Marino. I, I cannot see a win against Basel. I'm, I'm going to quickly have a look at the competition rules uh, because I don't know the way goals count. Let's have a look at the rules for the first qualifying round. Uh, what do we have? Um, it doesn't look like away goals. It's extra time and then penalties. That's disappointing. That, that would have been very nice for us to have the three away goals. Um, but the next game is in six days time for the second leg against Sistana. We will be back for that. Uh, so I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, welcome back to the second part of the episode. Uh, I've just been looking through some of the rules for this competition. Uh, obviously, we're currently here. Uh, if we do get through this, we go to here. But if we do lose, we do go into the uh, the playoffs again, the qualifying path for the Conference League. Uh, but if we get through, uh, Obviously, that will be Basel. I can't see us winning that. But we do actually go into the Euro, the Europa League qualifying path then. If we have a look at the Europa League here. This is the path that we will be in. We'll be in this playoff here. Winners obviously qualify for the playoff. Obviously, depending on who we get in that. But if we come through that game there, get to the playoff, the losers qualify for the Conference League. So there's still plenty of opportunity for us to get into a European competition this season. We do have a little bit of team news though. Uh, Manusco Cacianella has actually picked up a twisted ankle in training. He's out for two to four weeks. He's been out for three days so far. So we do have to make a change up front and it's going to have to be uh, Mr. Thomas Sony who comes in. Um, in terms of on the bench, we're going to put Christian Orselli on there. I'm actually thinking about Ravelli over Caradona. Yes, Ravelli's lacking in match sharpness a little bit. Um, but Caradona with that poor game in the last game. I think it's a change we're going to make. Other than that, everything else is the same. Uh, it is built to be a capacity crowd here in San Marino at the San Marino Stadium. 5,500 capacity. It will be absolutely massive if we get through. This is the stage we got to last season where we were knocked out uh, by... I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, but it is, the place is bouncing. Five and a half thousand people here. We've sold it out. We need to get our stadium bought so we can start expanding it. Uh, let's not concede early on again. Uh, and Ndong heads it just over. I wonder if that's uh, Didier Ndong. Ex-Sunderland uh, mercenary. It is Didier Ndong, the ex-Sunderland mercenary. £13 million we paid for him. And he was shocking. He's, I believe he's still our record signing at Sunderland. And he was appalling. Uh, and he's still making a career out of being a footballer somehow. Uh, Diara with that long throw, which a bit grabs. Uh, that long throw really is a weapon. And we've started much better in this half now. With, but Asombolonga brings the goal kick down. But Rossi plays it over the top to Tom Sony. The stand in for Caccianella, and he really should be scoring. It was a great save by Bitker, to be fair to him. Uh, but we really, we've got to, we've got to take those chances. Hey, they've given the ball back to us though. Di Cristofaro, uh, and again the goalkeeper makes the save. But it's again, so it's a, it's something that we should be scoring. We've got to capitalise on every opportunity we get. 
Uh, Adam Ollie's going to seek out Hadegaard here, but it's a poor corner and it's hammered clear by Kamarov, I believe it said. Uh, can Tiara get the ball into the box from the throw? No, he can't. Uh, we can see TNS has made it further in the stage this season. Of course, we knocked them out either last season or the season before. I think it was last season we knocked TNS out. Um, it's it's all us going forward though so far with Kevin Rossi with the long range effort and it's just wide of the post. Kevin Rossi incidentally has just won the uh, top scorer in the division for last season. Is this uh, a Brit Asombolonga it is? Ex Middlesbrough, Nottingham Forest player there. Uh, again, I live in Middlesbrough. Uh, obviously I've got a lot of Middlesbrough fans around me. They were quite pleased to see the back of Asombolonga really. Uh, one in three though for his goal record wasn't actually that bad. Uh, just there was a lot of Middlesbrough fans who didn't really like him, didn't like his style of play, uh, etc. It was, it was a while ago now, I can't remember the ins and outs of it to be fair. Um, but we're coming in to the half time break and it's it's level still. We are ahead on the XG, we just need to take those chances. We absolutely have to take them. The boys are doing well, they're playing well. Fontana on a yellow card is scary. Um, Ravelli's, you know, I've, I've dropped Caradonna to bring Ravelli in and he's having a poor one. In fact, it's just got worse there. It's gone down to a 6.3 and he's not much fit. Let's get Caradonna back on. Do I change Fontana for Feltrin? Yeah, we do. I'm, I'm scared about that yellow card. I don't have another striker on the bench, unfortunately. I don't, I'm a little bit short there. Uh, with Manusco Caccianella being out injured, uh, but a double change in the back line there. Bit of extra fresh legs. Fontana on the yellow card was scary. Uh, they've, they've not gone far away with that free kick. We have just picked up another yellow card though with Adam Oli, uh, the left wing back there. Uh, this, they've grown into this game, they're getting a few chances now. Uh, they've hit the outside of the post. I need to get a little bit little bit shouty with the boys how do they react mixed bag mixed bag I could really do without extra time penalties though we're so unfit uh, Callas and uh, nicks the ball there but uh, it's another poor effort from from us we we've not really offered anything going forward Kevin Rossi again has been poor Adam Oli's had a poor game the wing backs haven't really worked in this game so far for us of course we're very very tired uh, their left backs had a, a shocker, Bassi. He's an, had an absolute shocker, a 5.9. Let's win this. Uh, yes, well done. Nicholas Heidegaard, Diara Zafi, through to Rossi. Rossi, this is your chance. This is Cosmos. And it's a poor effort, man. Absolutely poor effort. And we're coming into the final couple of minutes of the game. And it looks like we are going to extra time. And we are going to extra time. We've not took our chances. We've not took our chances. We've we've been the better team. Uh, there's been no clear cut chances in the game. We've had two half chances. They're still doing well though. Astana are, are, are favourites for this game. Um, so we're still doing very, very well. We just could have done without the extra time. We're knackered. Uh, we've got Zuma to whip the corner in. It's towards and dong, but it's headed away. Can the Rossi counter attack? He's got uh, Di Cristofaro ahead of him. Cooper Maz is joining in the attack. Di Cristofaro now with the ball. Tomasoni, Tomasoni! We did everything right until the finish and the keepers pulled off another worldy of a save. But Tomasoni, you've, you've, Massimo, you've got to score. Cooper Maz is dead on his feet. Heidegaard's dead on his feet. Maz has actually picked up a foot injury. Uh, can we? Do we get another sub in extra time? We do. We do. We do. We do. I don't really want to take our best player off, but he's he's knackered. He's picked up a little bit of an injury. Let's just get Orselli on. Get the fresh legs on. And at the minute, at the minute, we're going to penalties. For a place, uh, let's not speak too soon. Hedegaard wins the header. It's a great header. Now it's Bolly Aliyev. Spreading it out wide to 
Chekarenko gets the ball into the box. It's a, oh, what a save by Reynaldo. What an absolutely fantastic save. He was at fault for a couple of the goals in the first leg, but he's, he's redeemed himself with that. He's kept us in it. Can we deal with the resulting corner? It's towards Ndong again, uh, but we do get the ball away. Now can we counter again? De Cristofaro. We can't. They've nicked the ball, but Adam Oli picks up the loose ball, uh, and that's the end of the highlight. Uh, it looks like we're going to penalties. It looks like we're going to penalties. He says... They do get the head on this one, but it's gone over. It's gone over. Is there a one last chance for SS Cosmos? With Thomas Sony bring the ball forward. He's looking for De Cristofaro, but it's a poor ball. Dimitrov cuts it out easily. Uh, we are going to pick up the second ball, though, from the clearance for the goal kick. Heidegaard, surprised he can still stand up. Ocelli looking for Caradona, but it's cut out again by Bassi, who just smashes it out. Can Diara get this throw in into the, the mixer? Cause havoc. He's winding up. He throws it long. The keeps come for it. The keeper claims it. The keeper claims it. Uh, and that is more than likely going to be the end of the game. Are, are we still going? Are we still... Are we going to Are we going to grab this? No, we're not. We're not. The game just ends there, apparently. Uh, Kevin Rossi. <sighs> yeah. Feltrin, Orselli, Tomasoni, Diara, we're not very good at penalties. We're not very good at penalties. We, we, that's, that's, that's what we've got, really. Um, I'm just going to tell them all I've got faith in them. A little bit of a motivation boost. And let the nail-biting penalties start. It's going to be Didier and Dong to take the first one ah the keeper nearly saved it Reynaldo nearly got it but Ndong has actually scored Kevin Rossi so reliable from the penalty spot for us I think he scored about 15 penalties last season uh, and he's, he's the keeper didn't even bother with that one that was such a good penalty uh, it's going to be Manyama now stepping up for Astana uh, Renato goes the right way again I bet Astan I never thought they'd get to penalties with SS Cosmos. It's going to be Felcher in the centre back to step up to take the second penalty. And he sends the keeper the wrong way. It's two great penalties from Cosmos. If you remember all the way back to the first season, the playoff final, we didn't score a single one. Uh, Aliyev for Astana now. Reynaldo goes the right way again. But again, it's just too far out of his reach. Christian Orselli stepping up now. Third penalty for Cosmos. And it's, a, it's another fantastic penalty. Straight down the middle. Kachenko, is it? The fourth penalty for Astana. Uh, Reynaldo's getting so close to these penalties, he just can't quite get to them. Uh, and it's been a perfect score so far. Tomasoni, the young San Marise player, he had another great penalty right in the bottom corner. This is nerve-wracking stuff, I can tell you. It's going to be Bowley. <sighs> Reynaldo's gone the right way for every single one of these. He just, he, he just can't get to them. And now we're at the stage where we have to score. Was it Diara? It was Diara. I've just got visions of Diara missing. I don't know why. He doesn't, he doesn't. He proves me wrong. Great penalty. Uh, now it's Bassi, the left fullback for Astana. He's had an absolutely shocking game. Calvin Bassi. Reynaldo again goes the right way. He just can't get to it. Maybe he's not tall enough. Maybe he's not tall enough. Who's stepping up next for Cosmos? It's Adamoli, the left wing back. Can we keep ourselves in this? We can. We can. This is, remember, this is to play Basel in the second qualifying round. And even if we lose at Basel, we're into the Europa League qualifying rounds, which is which is fantastic. Callas, again, with a, with another good penalty. We're, we're going to get to the keepers soon. We're going to get to the keepers soon. 
Uh, next player up for SS Cosmos is going to be Caradonna. Caradonna to keep Cosmos in the tie. And he, oh, he just does. He just does. It's off the underside of the crossbar. Karimov for Astana. He sends to keep the wrong way. That's the first one that Reynaldo has not gone the right way for. And again, it leaves us needing to score. The fans are loving it. Look at them all. We've even got some people wearing red up here. Uh, I'm not sure who they're supporting. We play in yellow. De Cristofaro now, the poacher. Potentially losing his place in the squad with the new players coming in. It's a fantastic penalty though. And we're 8-8. Eight, 8-8. Eight. Eight piece now it's going to be Zuma oh, so close to saving that one so close so close we've not had a single penalty miss yet this must be some kind of record in the Europa League it's going to be Nicholas Hedegaard the young Dane to step up to keep us in the Champions League it's, a, it's, a, it's another fantastic penalty. The, 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 everybody's been practicing the penalties for this game. Dimitrov now. Ah, Reynaud. I say everybody's been practicing the penalties. The goalkeepers clearly haven't. They've not been practicing saving them, have they? Uh, and we are now at the goalkeepers. It's going to be Reynaud. It's going to be Reynaldo, and he tucks his penalty away. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, now it's going to be Bitka. He kept Astana in this game early on, and Bitka misses. Bitka misses. Now this is this is to win the game and set up a tie with Basel. Who's it going to be? Who have we got left? It's Zafi. The deep line playmaker, another one who's set to be replaced in the squad. This is Zafi to send us into the second qualifying round for the first time. And he does. SS Cosmos have knocked out Astana from Kazakhstan. No more than we deserved, might I add. But that's, that's, it's unreal. We're, we're getting further and further into Europe every season. What an absolutely crazy penalty shootout. 11-10 in the end. Cooper Maz oh, we've lost Cooper Mazes. But just look at this. Unreal. There's more money in the bank. We're going to play Basel. Just look at that. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Nketiah playing is the key player for Basel. Former Arsenal man. Apparently he's been to Lazio in this save as well. Oh, but that is... Again, in a week's time, do you know what the board keep arranging these friendlies? And I've got, I can't play the friendlies. Look, these, these is my pre-season. Seven days against Basel, which we're not going to get through. TNS have also got through still, and coming up against Copenhagen. Sheriff Tiraspol got through. Basel, probably the biggest Salzburg, Basel probably the biggest team two teams there still in the qualifying stages but anyway this has been a long episode with those penalties those penalties dragged on forever i'm just so glad that we got through but that is going to be the end of today's episode absolutely fantastic result for cosmos if you do like what you've seen as always please leave a like please feel free to subscribe and i'll catch you all next time <laughs>